Hey guys, it's Jimmy and I'm back with another video. So, I don't know about you guys, but I am so ready for this whole entire virus and quarantine to be over with so we can all finally go out and go back to what we were before. And um, I'm so ready to go out and travel and explore and just be outside, be outdoors. Being cooped up in this uh, house and these looking at these four walls every single day it's very boring and very uninspiring uh, so I just cannot wait to that day they just tell us hey we're 100% clear you're clear to travel you're clear to do everything you want to do and the illness is gone so I cannot wait to that day they announced it but while waiting for that message from the government and stuff there are countries out there and states here within the u.s that are slowly opening back up for example i live in the state of texas we are technically open but um everything that's open can only be uh taken up 25 percent capacity and for right now, I'm still trying to avoid those places like malls and, and theaters and stuff like that. I'm still trying to avoid those places and be 100% um, like social distancing and everything like that. So as of right now, I don't see myself going out to large crowds or anything like that. I just see myself maybe now going to the park a little bit more and working out a little bit more and just you know going outside getting some fresh air instead of staying inside all cooped up so while that being said is that um to the day that we are able to travel again without worrying i picked up something that i'm very excited about this right here is the peak design travel tripod it's currently inside this uh, box and i got the aluminum version so peak design came out with two versions i'll post a picture here they came out with the aluminum version which is this one and a carbon fiber version um, the aluminum version retails for 349.99 usd and the carbon fiber one uh, retails for 599.99 usd now i got the aluminum version because of the price tag um, Majority of people will most likely go for the aluminum one for the price point. It's only $350 composed to as uh, another like, $250 for the, uh, for the carbon fiber one. So I would see the most popular uh, one out of the two would be the aluminum one, which I got right here. But let's go ahead and unbox this. It's very easy. All you do is just these have these elastic straps right here and you just pop it up fold over and just it slides right out so I'll set that aside and this is basically the tripod inside its little carrier bag it's a little travel bag oh on the outside of here it has uh, the sticker the peak design sticker right here and also a silicon packet so in this bag right here we have the tripod so it just zips open right all the way and so here is the tripod itself which is very cool it's very compact very nice and what's very cool about it is that it's very compact and because supposed to like I'm gonna bring out another tripod over here. This is the tripod that I use. This one here is the uh, Vanguard tripod. And this is the tripod mostly that I use to travel around, but it's very cumbersome, very like, it's, as you guys can see, compare the two. Like, this one's taller than this by comparison. And like, they both weigh about the same. So I would say, like if you look at this way like this handle right here this handle right here gets into a lot of uh get, gets caught in a lot of things so i don't normally travel with a tripod because of this uh function and it's very cumbersome so for me 
getting this tripod is very cool and I can't wait to go out and test it out today. Um, I'm planning on going out to test it uh, at a park. So I will do more reviewing when we get headed to the park. But it's so, if you guys look at the tripod, it is so flush to, to the whole body. So it's, without this paper being here, it's so flush. Like look at that. Like it's really awesome, very compact and very nice. So let's go ahead and take this to the park and try it out. I'll see you guys there. So I finally made it out to the park. Um, you guys can see behind me, I am wearing a mask. I am social distancing. So that is good. I am practicing all of that, staying away from people. There's people behind me fishing and other people on the side of me, but there are more than six feet away. I don't know if you guys can hear me from all the mumbling that I'm going through this mask, but let's get started with uh, <laughs> this. So I came out here because I really want to test out the capabilities of this tripod. So like I said before, it's a travel tripod and it's very easy as you guys can see here. here. So it's very easy to uh, extend the legs. So basically what you do is you grab your fingers, pop all of it out, and it extends. Again, all of it out, extends. All of it out, extends, right? And then uh, basically what Peak Design did is they uh, did this thing where you could just easily just go around, do like that to close off the tripod. It's very easy. Right now I'm like on uneven surfaces, so it's like kind of like a hill. So you have to account for that. But other than that, this is a solid tripod. So I have right here my old camera. I'm gonna try to attach to this. You have to use the, of course, the little head thing that comes with it. But surprisingly, it does not come with the little screwy thing. Little, uh, you guys can see right here. It doesn't come with like the coin thing or whatever. It actually comes with the little Allen wrench. So Peak Design actually gave us a little Allen wrench right here to use it. So what you do is you attach your camera on. See, you attach your camera on a little bit. Tighten it. And then with the Allen wrench, you put it back here so you don't lose it. And then you clip it in so it doesn't so it doesn't move anywhere. And what's also cool about this tripod is that it has a locking mechanism. So you guys can see right here. Hold on, let me So you guys see right here, I'm gonna change the settings real quick. So you guys see right here, there's a little ring right here. So what you guys do is turn it and it locks into place and this thing doesn't move anymore. You can't move it anymore. So whatever they do to it, you can't move it. So the functionality of this tripod is very cool. But you can't literally move it. <laughs> and then on the side over here, there's another, there's a little ring right here. So you twist that and extends the head. So you can extend the head up like this. And also there's another ring right here where you control the tilt. So you twist it off, you control it here, here, here. Like I can control it, you know? Here. So that's very cool. I, I really like this idea. Okay, so I moved away for a little bit, so away from the bench, uh, so you guys can see it better. This is what it looks like right here. And I want to do a little closer look. You guys see this right here? This right here is for you to put your counterweight, whatever, like a backpack or something like that to counterweight it. So if you're doing like a time lapse or something, it doesn't blow over in the wind. And also another thing is that 
Under here, it has a really cool thing. If you guys look very carefully, it has a little symbol. So what you do is you pull this down, twist it, and comes out this thing. So what is this thing? This thing right here is a little phone mount. So you can put your phone on it and attach it to the tripod. So how you do that is, of course you remove this. And then this piece goes back under. So you don't lose it. So you take your phone. You clip it on and then from here, which is the same thing, like that. So you just clip your phone right here, lock it into place, and then you could do, you can record your phone, no problem. And so what's very cool about it is that it's included into it. So that's very cool that Peak Design actually hooked us up with a little phone mount. Usually travel tripods like this, don't include it and you have to buy it separately. So that's very awesome that Peak Design actually included into this thing. And it's also magnetic. So it's very cool. So you don't end up losing it. It's magnetic on both sides. So here, oops. <laughs> so it's here and also here. So it's very cool. It goes and just goes back under. So. It just goes back under. So what's also very cool about this is that you could change it into different uh, configurations. Uh, so basically you could take out this part right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. You guys could take out this part right here and then make it to where it's low mode. So with that, you have to use this guy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and remove this again. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put this down real quick. So in order to do it, you need to take out this so unscrew it all the way take oh yeah forgot this is what's come out too this is what's come out too take it out all the way so this removes completely and then let me screw this back in so I don't lose it and then afterwards you're going to go ahead and tilt this ball head over here to where you see a little hole right there that you put the Allen wrench through. And then you just twist somehow. Make sure you lock it into place so that it doesn't twist anymore. So that you could, there you go. You can untwist it. Sorry guys, if you can hear the wind, it's very windy right now. And then it just becomes this thing. It just becomes this, that's it. And then you could put this back in. Make sure you put that back in. And what's really cool about this is that when you are, when you wanna go low, see, easy, put it back in. Oops. And then, if you guys can see these hinges right here, let's the focus real quick. See these hinges right here? You press it. You press it, and it ends up being a low tripod. So you can mount it on the ground like this, and then put your uh, camera right here. I'm gonna actually go get the camera real quick. Okay. There you go. So basically, 
This is low mode right here. You can put it on a table or something and you can easily put it through a low mode. So that's how you do low mode. And then also uh, make sure you guys screw this before you guys uh, do anything because I almost dropped the camera. Um, but you can use this stick right here. Remember the stick? You can use it where you could invert the camera upside down and the legs will be up here, popped up. So yeah, that's very cool. And so in order to turn it back to the way it was, you need to do the process all over again, which is make sure you unscrew it, make sure you unlock it, sorry, unlock it, unlatch it, take the camera off, make sure you put it in a safe place, and then fold the legs back so you hear a snap. Unscrew this part right here. Take this out. Okay, I'm gonna put this down real quick. And then take out the Allen wrench. And then take out the Allen wrench. Put it back, connect it. Find the hole where, there it is. Tighten it back up. And then make sure you tighten it. All right, make sure you tighten it. And like I said before, make sure you put back the Allen wrench so you don't lose it. And also you could invert it upside down. So where you can put your camera like that upside down. So it's very cool. That's very awesome. Like, look, look, if I have the camera, hold on, let me go get the camera real quick. So the camera is upside down. See, that's very cool. So this is a really cool tripod. I do recommend this tripod. If you guys are looking for a travel tripod that is very cool, very unique, this would be the one that I would recommend to people. Yeah, if you guys like it, make sure you guys get it. I'll leave the links down in the description box below. And it's very cool, you know? If you guys uh, are on a low budget, I recommend getting the Illumina one like I have right here. Uh, and then later up, if you guys want to get the carbon fiber one, get that one. But overall, this is a really cool tripod and I really, really like the design of it. So leave it down in the comment section below. Would you get this tripod? And also, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.